श्रीमदे रामा जाय सोशल बींग्स लिविंग इन द ईयर ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजिकल एडवांसमेंट एंड वी आर अ बंडल ऑफ इंस्टिंग्स व्हिच आर हाईली ऑर्गेनाइज्ड कैटेगराइज्ड एंड कॉन्फिगर्ड एट अ हाई टेक लेवल इन दिस एडवेंच ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड वी आर हैविंग अ पर्मनेंट थॉट प्रोसेस ऑफ डेवलपिंग आवरसेल्स टू सच अ लेवल बाय व्हिच वी एक्सपीरियंस रियल बेनिफिट्स दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन कंपटीशन एक्सपेंशन imitation of other hand sources etc the basic force that is behind each and everybody is the instinctive drive <coughs> the instinctive drive here means a person's interest unquenchable desire in promoting himself in expanding his resources in getting into unlimitedness of mobile phone Stop your mobile, but it is getting intervention in the public data system. Please help us. biological base of security as well as the desire to promote oneself that makes us to untiringly be present in a process engaged in a process to promote ourselves and whenever a person is interested in promoting one's own self he may not be having a compound structure of promotion what is compound structure of promotion any person being interested or very much committed towards his own development either infrastructural development or what we call innate development resources that come from the inner resources repository whatever it is that consists of different components and it may not be available with all people due to which that creates two major possibilities in the society one is isolation and insufficiency and second is collaborative function as all resources are not available to people it has created a deep divide and cleavage in the society as the resources are isolated people are also isolated are in sensible people in knowledgeable people in active and dynamic personalities the same thing has resulted in collective functioning collective survival collaboration joint venture mutuality functional sharing federal march all of these various concepts have come because of the limitations of these resources available with us what are the resources first interest to develop resources or interest to augment and potentialize your caliber and status it is with everybody nobody can be in this world unless the person is affected with a paralysis or coma or a person is dead or totally insane in nature or a person is totally renounced from the worldly order even such people are having more craze and desire to develop their resources nowadays so it is very difficult to imagine a person without having a deep desire to augment the resources so the first component that is required is a deep burning tireless reservoir of zeal the second is the zeal should instigate the person to go for gaining knowledge about the resources third thing is to fix a target of what is the product what is the personality what is the personal and what is the team what is the plan what is the project what is the proposal what is the purpose of our activity and what are the procedural methodologies by which we can reach them the third fourth thing is in action fifth thing is maintenance or managerial components what we call so we should have a burning zeal for developing our resources second thing is to gather knowledge resources so that the zeal can be activated or translated into a personified form third is to qualify a person's knowledge by means of 
identifying all the essential subcomponents which are required for framing a methodological missionary in the society. Fourth thing is to start the action. Fifth thing is to have a vigilant, meticulous care for the security, prosperity, maintenance and sustenance for the company, for the organization which is known as managerial component. These are the five major ingredients that requires a person's continuous engagement or activities that are made for, maintained for the boosting of his own resources in the society. In this order, I want to say that all people, they are not having equivalent proportionate adjustment or equivalent proportional placement in getting all the components within them. A person's desire proportion may be more rather than the knowledge. And knowledgeable people, that desire inside the business efficacy may be lesser. A person with the knowledge and burning desire may not be very much available with the subcomponential availabilities and missionaries that are there in the society. Persons who are having everything, they are waiting for some action due to sluggardishness, due to lack of proper, what we call organizational courage. Like ethical courage and moral courage, there is a courage which is known as trade courage. Anybody should have a commercial courage to put their money. Anybody can play with somebody's money or anybody can play with either. But while putting one's own investment, not a share of investment, but putting everything whatever he is having in the form of bones and bricks to be translated completely into the blocks of the physical molding or foundation that he is going to lie to do to form a business that requires a very great courage. And the fifth thing is anybody in action, they don't have the capability to sustain the business. For that, they have created a mutuality of understanding and action between various people though the, so that they are sharing the resources. So, the world is in now such a position that as you are not having everything, for example, somebody has the rice, somebody has the doll, somebody has the cooking fire, somebody has the serving plate and somebody is possessing all the money resources to purchase all of these ingredients unless these people don't quarrel within themselves and mutually come together for a common platform. They cannot create a validated, a substantialized form of organizational efficacy. And this type of engagement by which a person is continuously, tirelessly making effort for developing himself is known as busyness. The quality that makes a person ever engaged in a process of productivity is known as busyness. A person who is always busy and the capability of his nature of being busy in a productive engagement is known as business. Likewise, you know that industrious is the quality of a person who is doing a very great hard work with all confidential structures. That is why it is known as an industry where the industrious persons are there, where the four major pillars of industrious success, financial resources, manpower resources, intelligent resources, scientific or technological support are the four pillars of industrial establishment. That is why it is known as industry. That is why it is known as business. So we should be continuously, untiringly, sleeplessly, totally hyper vigilantly be engaged in the process of making ourselves, withstanding ourselves, substantializing our resources for perennial success. So this type of science has developed in recent eras, you know that whenever people they started business, they used to start business and learn through experiences, learn through traditional resources from father and other people. Learn through the methodological way of pedagogy. Business pedagogy was there. Artha Shastra, we used to call it in Sanskrit, by means of which limited exposure towards uh, the ancient uh, scriptures, as well as the inscriptions are being read by people. Now, the science has developed, technology has developed, population has developed, multi dimensional utility needs and emergencies have developed in the society so that problems, dangers, insecurities, confusions, conflicts, erasures, frictions, mutualities, dropouts, fall downs, diminishings, downfalls, all evil natures as well as the positivities, they have also contrarily and parallelly developed in the society. So to create security, to ensure more prosperity, understanding of the emerging trend, trend analysis, market analysis, product analysis, advertisement psychology, mass psychology, trend mass psychology, application psychology, craze marketing, hypnotic marketing, then individual marketing, counseling marketing, group marketing, team marketing, marketing by means of understanding the fancy visualization of people, emergency marketing, scarcity marketing, product stocking, innumerable sciences that have evolved in the society due to which a basic understanding of the emerging business levels, they are necessarily to be studied in a research basis. So business has become a science, no doubt a non-predictable science, unreliable science, ever-changing science, very much hypothetical in nature and the probability and proportionality ratio is very very less when compared to the other 
physical, natural physical policies as well as the empirical sciences. So business now has evolved as a science. Marketing management, independent marketing management, entry marketing management, productive management, stockage and distribution, export and import special licensing, 